Howdy folks, TJ here. Today I have an unboxing of another QL goodie I received in the mail. Uh, this one's from over in the United Kingdom and it's for a QL. Uh, shout out to uh, Stephen Usher. He's the gentleman that sent me this. He was uh, very kind. He had an extra item laying around for an uh, uh, old black uh, QL and uh, said he uh, would send it to me for the cost of shipping. Couldn't refuse that. Great deal. Thank you very much. And it all started from, I'm going to have a, probably a hard time pronouncing his name, but I'm going to take a crack at it. So if you're watching this video, you can let me know. But Fibo Stoko, that's how I'm going to say it. So he started a thread saying, hey, I'm going through my QL stuff. I might have a little something for you, cost of shipping. And then Stephen came along and said, you know, I've got something similar, but a little better. Or I think uh, Fibo said that. Uh, and um, that this one would be uh, a much better option for me. So ended up going this route. Thank you very much to the both of you for uh, being so kind to send me stuff for just the cost of shipping. Very cool. So here's an unboxing. And I've slipped the top already. And maybe I'll uh, pan down the camera here. Get it a little closer up. So bear with me as I scoot stuff forward. All right, some bubble wrap. <coughs> Discard the box. Very well packed, thank you very much. What could it be for QL? What do I need? All sorts of stuff. Oh boy, and it's also in a black baggie too. All right, zoom. Here we go. So you may be asking, what the heck is this thing? I believe the proper name for it is a Sandy Q board. Sandy Q or Q Sandy board. <laughs> it's a memory expansion for a QL. Uh, and it also has some ports on it to connect floppies. I don't know if um, one's for, these are two different ports obviously, so I don't know if one can actually be used for a printer too, or both for floppies, uh, but two connection ports on the outside, and this basically, if the QL was over here, plugs in and gives your um, QL some extra goodness, extra memory, uh, the external ports, and I believe for floppy drive again, and also I think there's something like a toolkit that's part of this. So I'm going to have access, and I don't know QL well enough yet to say how it all works, but there's a toolkit that I'll now have access to by plugging this in. And I hear that's an important part of having a QL. So here's kind of what it looks like. Hopefully this is all coming in all right. Maybe let me uh, point the camera or the lighting a little more towards this direction here that might light things up a little bit better there here's that and here's the end that plugs into the QL on the expansion port on the side Let's see if it says anything on the back 1984 Sinclair research limited made in the UK So there she is. So next step is I'm going to reconnect up my QL to a monitor I've been using out here on the table for playing video games and plug it in and see what it actually does. So cool. All right, it's time to try the Sandy and I downloaded, <coughs> it's called the Super Q Board. Downloaded on a, um, looks like Dilwyn's website. There's a manual that you can download and quickly read over it. So it looks like the one that I have is a Super Q board 512 RAM. They had three different versions. The original one, then this one that I have, and then a final one that looks like it added mouse support. This one's kind of in the middle and it looks like, yes, there's also a printer. So it looks like multi-standard disk interface, Centronics compatible printer port, and uh, then of course the toolkit. So it looks like that toolkit 2 that I was talking about earlier. So those are the things that basically are gonna help me run my QL much better. 
So I've got the user guide out here. I've got my monitor. This is the uh, Sony that I have here. But I wanted to kind of quickly show you first. So here's the QL. And yes, it's probably all dusty. My house is so dusty. So on the side of the QL is the expansion port. I've already removed the door, but I wanted to kind of quickly show you that in case you've never did it before, because I felt like I was going to break the dang thing. So here's the little door. Maybe I'll kind of try to move up closer. I don't know if this will come in or not. Uh, let me kind of shimmy the camera around a little bit. So this little door was kind of inside, like, in here. And you have to kind of... Oops. Yeah. Where's the side? No, it's this way. So it was in like that. And you have to kind of get a little screwdriver in here and kind of pull on it. And then it kind of bends a little bit as it was coming out and kind of popped out. So I was a little timid on doing that at first, but that's what the inside, if in case... I'll just kind of go slow. I don't know if this will be picked up or not. But anyway, that's the expansion port. Now I'll shimmy the camera back around here. Or camera, the light. The light. So what it tells me to do is just go ahead and push it in. Don't force it, just kind of wiggle it a little bit if it has to be. So let's try to plug this thing in. So I'm lining it up over here. There we go. Felt like a solid connection, so that's cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and reconnect up my power supply. I need to make sure to save the door. I don't want to lose it. I love to keep original doors and all that stuff. So turn off the monitor. And plug the monitor back in. Power supply back in. I'm going to leave the little feed off for now. So now's the test. So I'm going to... I have the... Uh, monitor powered up but I gotta go behind here now I need to get like a little switch or something or an AC adapter that's closer so uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move the camera around so you can actually see the screen because I have no clue what's gonna happen yeah I think I'll turn off the light over here. Might make things come in a little better. I don't know. I think I'll have some editing to do with this video. All right, so I'm gonna go turn it on and then try to run around. My office is kind of a bit of a mess. All right, on the button. Now I gotta run around. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh. Looks like it's thinking about it. Oh, Sandy Disk Controller version 1.16T, 1984, 640K, random access memory, care slash QJump toolkit version 2.07, 1995. So, cool. I'm not going to go beyond this. I just wanted to see what what would pop up when I plugged it in. So it looks like it's working. I mean, it says I've got 640K now rather than 128. So I guess technically I should be able to run pretty much most any stock QL programs now, which is cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit um, F2 for TV just to confirm it gets in there. Yeah, looks like it does. And if I hit return or uh, reset button. So I noticed this takes longer, so it must be thinking about talking to the expansion device here because normally when you turn it on it doesn't quite take that long so I guess it's doing something loading this thing up or whatever so cool I've got a 640k QL now Woo cool thanks guys